now in this how to we are going to learn that how to bind data using sql data reader and where to use sql data reader before i proceed further let me tell you what is sql data reader sql data reader provides a way for of reading a forward only stream of rows from the sql server database it means that in the reader you can only navigate from first to the second and third and so on you cannot come back so once you have reached to the fourth uh, fourth row of this reader you will not be able to move back to the third or the second row so sql data reader is is a forward only that's why sql data reader is much much faster than any other uh, object where you store the data for example data set or data table so uh, in, in to to show this example i am going to create one aspx page where on aspx page i will have a drop down so here is my drop down okay so here is the drop down in this drop down we ha uh, we have a data text field is equal to file name and the data value field is equal to auto id now let us uh, uh, create some code behind code here as well so in the code behind or in the server side we first have a con is underscore con str variable where we are retrieving the database connection string from the web.config file this and then uh, we are going to write uh, some edu.net code in the page load event of this uh, page so let me copy and paste it here okay so let's correct this uh, these errors looks like this is fine now okay now let's see how it is uh, working so first uh, uh, in under the page load event we have instantiated the sql connection object by passing the database connection string and then we have a uh, uh, we have a sql uh, select statement that is basically ret retrieving the auto id and the file name from the data from the files database table order by file name and then we have instantiated this uh, sql command object by passing the sql to uh, execute and the database connection and then we have opened the connection and after opening the connection what we need to do is that we we can execute the uh, or we can call the execute reader method of the uh, sql command object by passing the command behavior dot close connection now the command we have a dot close connection instruct the reader that as soon as you will be closed you have to close the database connection as well remember that before you call the execute reader your database connection must be opened if your database connection is not open then you will not be able to call the execute reader you, you will get an error so that's why i have first called it and then we have uh, called the execute reader method and that execute re reader method basically execute the reader on top of this particular uh, sql command and it will store that uh, the, the, the complete reader that will have the data from this particular database table into the reader object and then we can specify the as a data source of the drop down or whatever data control we are using uh, uh, to that particular reader and then we can uh, call the data bind method now uh, let me uh, run this page and let me show you how it is looking like you can see that all the file name uh, or all the records basically has been populated into this particular uh, database uh, in this particular drop down you can see here now uh, now there are a couple of points that is very important in terms of sql data reader the sql data reader is a connected architecture where if you have to iterate through the records of the sql data reader your database connection must be open so for example if i will call database connection is equal to close con dot close here you will see that this will not work let me go back you can see that it is not working it is saying that invalid attempt to call field count when the reader is closed okay so uh, th this is a very important point that if you have to iterate through the records of the reader object then your database connection must be open that's why sql data reader is much much faster uh, than the data table and and the other uh, uh, other uh, objects where you can store the data and uh, the next uh, uh, 
um, how to is how to retrieve records from SQL data reader. So uh, here in this how in the earlier how to we saw that how to populate the data from the reader object uh, uh, into the drop down. Now in this how to we are going to learn that how to retrieve records from the SQL data reader. So for that let's create one form. So here is my uh, ASPX page where I have a simple button. On click of the button we are uh, calling read data from data reader server side method. So let us create that method as well. Here is my conSTR uh, the database connection string underscore conSTR sorry and then we have one method that method name is read data from data reader and here it goes let us delete all these page load events code and here is my method now in this method let me show you what is inside in this method ok and that's it ok here it goes fine so in this uh, code behind we have underscore conSTR variable as uh, explained earlier where I am retrieving the connection string, uh, connection string uh, from the web config file and on click of this button this uh, read data from data reader method is uh, uh, being called so in this method we have first instantiated the SQL connection and then we have the uh, SQL statement that we need to execute then we have instantiated the SQL command by passing the SQL uh, uh, query to execute and the database connection and then open the connect database connection and then we have again called the same uh, database uh, SQL command dot execute reader uh, by passing command behavior dot close connection now in order to read the uh, data uh, from the reader we can follow these two approaches I'm just going to show you both of the approach here the first approach is that what we can do is that we can write reader of column name okay and that will basically like reader of auto id will give you the value of auto id and reader of file name will give you the value of the file name column of that particular record so in this case uh, we will have to uh, create a while loop so while reader dot read so run this loop till reader is able to read the record uh, from itself and uh, then and then write the auto id and the file name uh, on the page so here i am uh, as, uh, as I said I am just uh, using the auto ID reader of auto ID and reader of file name so it will basically uh, write the auto ID and the file name on the page so let me show you this let me refresh this, uh, this page and you will see that when I am clicking on the button then now 9 5 1 2 3 4 all these uh, file is being written on the page so this is the first way to retrieve the uh, <coughs> columns or retrieve the data from the reader object this is not the best way the second way is the best way and it is the suggested way to basically read the uh, data from the reader object so let me show you that here what we are doing is that uh, reader object basically expose met many methods so if you have to uh, read a boolean type of data uh, from the reader object then you can use boolean get boolean method if a byte type of data is then get byte if uh, uh, date time uh, type of data is there in, in the reader object then you can use get date time in the same way get decimal get uh, fluid and get uh, int 16 int 30 all different different kinds of methods are there and that uh, you can use based on the uh, data type of the column so in this case our auto id data type uh, <coughs> auto id column data type is is naturally integer so i am going to use reader dot get int 30, uh, 32 and then this method basically accepts the ordinal ordinal means the position from the left and in, in the reader object so from position of this auto id column can be retrieved using reader dot get ordinal method you can see that get ordinal method is here and this get ordinal method basically ex accepts the name of the column so what it will do it the get ordinal method will give the uh, position from the left uh, uh, of this particular column 
and get int32 will basically retrieve the integer value that is stored into this auto id column and then i similarly i am using get string because this field name is of a string type now when i will run this uh, page let me refresh this page again let me go back and click on the read data from sql and it, it, it will put, it will give you the same output that i was uh, getting from the first way but it is considered uh, the the second uh, way is considered to be much much faster than the first way and that's why it is always suggested to use this approach to retrieve the uh, records of data from the uh, from the reader object rather than passing just the column name